Bros UX has just dropped on the shelves. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Wand Wizard, the mighty stamina type release that is going to creep over your Hasbro Beyblade X competitive or even casual meta. Hello everyone, and for this video, this is the Beyblade X review of Wand Wizard. This is the new stamina type release, and shout out to Burnt Toast for helping out to get these products. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to actually review this, so shout out to them. Wand Wizard is a mighty stamina type release and a part of Hasbro's UX line. So it's really weird that they're doing the marketing for UX because Hasbro didn't really market anything as sports or even BX. But to give you a quick explanation of the difference between the two, the basic line uses metal launcher hooks and has a center of gravity closer to the middle for balance. While the unique line uses plastic hooks, having a center of gravity push outwards, giving the blades, technically all of them, outwards weight distribution. As well, they're all specialized in one specific thing. So for an example, Wand Wizard is specialized in its outwards weight distribution. Quite literally, that's what it says on the box. It's kind of cool that they uh, marketed it like that. I mean, they didn't say strong centrifugal force, whatever. Um, I, I mean, yeah, it, it's cool they put the abilities on the box. Alrighty, we got this ready. Three, two, and let rip. Yeah, just, well, close enough. We get to basically get ultimate stamina creep now with the uh, rod where probably used to kill in a Hasbro stadium, but the stamina meta is still gonna shift to wizard. To give a system overview, your blade is the main thing that makes contact with your opponent. Your ratchet determines both height and burst resistance. Your bit also determines burst resistance because of the shaft, but the bottom also determines your movement patterns, so what type of A-blade you are. Alrighty now, let's talk about Wand Wizard, which there's no easy way to put this. This blade is mighty. It is one of the best, if not actually the best stamina type blade to use right now in the Japanese meta. Nothing has seemingly been able to beat it in pure stamina versus stamina. It is very, very strong. It has a good weight because it's the heaviest out of all the other stamina blades, has good defense. Uh, basically, the only way I would say you can really beat this right now in the meta is try to destabilize it or try to KO it. Which both of those things aren't too too hard, but if you're going bar for bar on stamina... This is a variant, by the way, of Arrow Wizard. And it's kind of funny to see how Arrow Wizard was like decent, I think it was solid, and then they just like jumped like crazy to like skyrocketing to the tippity top and we just have Wand Wizard now. Uh, so yeah, fun. We get introduced to our new ratchet, which is 570. So first of all, five sides, I would generally say has pretty good burst resistance. It has good outwards weight distribution, decent stamina. The other thing I want to mention too, is if you're trying to wonder how middle height works for how you can visually see the difference, there's going to be an infographic on the screen right now. And just to end off with just kind of explaining, generally speaking, middle height is pretty good for balance combinations, I would say. So like, you know, your attack stuff basically and it's also maybe good for like the things like a future bit called Hexa. But yeah, 70s uh, nice. So here is Disc Ball. It's slightly taller than that of regular ball. Actually, not even slightly, it is taller. It's almost like it's a high, high bit. It has a wide disc of support here. Now the thing is, stamina wise, super, super good, but a big issue is gonna be the resistance. Because you're very tall, you are going to be very, very exposed. So be careful what height you put Disc Ball on. It, it's very good for stamina, but I, even I have sometimes trouble using it. And one more thing, in Beyblade X, to burst, you have to twist to unlock, right? Okay, so if I have Disc Ball, which has no resistor here, it's going to be very easy to twist to unlock. Now, if I have, for an example, something like Gear Flat, and I try to put it on here, Gear Flat has a thick resistor on here, so if I try to twist to unlock, it's going to take a lot more because there's that resistor there. Now, this is not the end-all be-all for combo making, just things to consider. All right, here's the weight section. The blade's pretty heavy. Uh, I mean, well, not heavy compared to other wand wizards. That's weight's about average. 570 is fine. Disc ball is obviously going to be that weight because it is tall. And the final weight for the bay you can see on the screen. And now let's do fully some So it looks very, very nice. Obviously, we compare this to our lovely arrow wizard here. So the fun thing to mention now is how... What is my perception of this blade? Because I've lived through the Japan meta of the blade that's called Wizard Rod. And now we have Wand Wizard. Um, I mean, the Hasbro Stadium, it should be a little bit more balanced just because of how the gameplay is for KOing and there's no not, not as much rebound, so maybe, maybe it won't be too, too bad. 
The other thing too is that this thing is just gonna overcome all the other stamina. So it's gonna be like, this is a must have blade because the stamina on it is like very, very good. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's move on now. So I'm joined here by the talented blader that is my mother. I have one wizard, the entry launcher, three, two, and labor. This is the part where I mentioned to you that the entry launcher is for caca. They include it just for the cost effectiveness, but if you're gonna be actually getting a launcher or using it at all, do a winder or a string. They offer you more spin, more rotation, and more comfortable to hold. However, I will do this. I have all the power in my hand. Ah! So uh, now we're gonna be facing off against Oh, you already have the bait. Soar Phoenix. All right, do you have what it takes? Yes, I Probably do. Probably do. Three to the grip. So Soar Phoenix, you know, it's an aggressive combination we picked here with 960 ball. Should have at least some stamina to work, but mostly it's just trying to aggressively bully it. Um, you should be trying to ratchet burst me potentially with this combo, but um, we're going to find out how this video gets to 12 minutes because it's all stamina. <laughs> Are you, aren't you, aren't you excited? No, I'm not. Wow, that's, that's what I love to hear. That's the excitement. Oh my God. Oh nice. shit. Yes. A burst, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it, the stock is not really that good. You but want more? No. More, more. Okay. All right. Three challenge grip. <laughs> wow. You <burst> first. <laughs> I, it's true. So, well, I'm done. Yeah, you're out. Those are the two weaknesses of the stock combo. Don't run stock. Run like a combo like this. I mean, you should. It, uh, no, too late. I already said. Yeah, it is a good combo. Um, okay, well, Keel Shark now. An aggressive attack combination. Pretty good for the stock combo. Let's see. All right. Three gentlemen grip. Nice. So two points. Or th This might be even a short. Oh, I don't like that sound. This might be even a short video. Mm -hmm. Well, three gentlemen grip. Oh my god, hey, take it easy, buddy. You actually got me to stop spinning. Yeah, I had to stop your momentum, otherwise you would have had a very good victory there. Okay. So, I do have three points leading, buddy. I know, it's okay. It's okay. Three gentlemen grip. Oh my god. Oh my god, I win! Can you believe it? Four can points. You, can you give me one for the fence? Let's do just one more, please, because I got to beat you. Two gentlemen grip. You're not going to do it. Fuck off! Doesn't work. Doesn't work. No! I would tell you what you need to win, but <laughs> I, I want to win too. Ah, uh, screw you. Okay. Awful. One more? Let's sure, go. sure. Okay, why not? Two gentlemen grip. Whoa. Failed. Yeah, that was failed. Close. I know, I know, I know. You failed. I just want to make sure you know you failed. I, know, I can see. I'm not fucking lying. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's go up against a casual one like Wyvern Gale. Let's see how that does nice. against one with or Gale, whatever. Okay. Two gentlemen grip. Gentlemen grip. No way. Yes way. An easy KO. Nice. Okay, this is wow. Gentlemen grip. Wow, you missed. We'll see. We did. No. Lincoln, you'll miss it. Doesn't work on these. I know. That's bro, me. <laughs> You're wow. out, buddy. You did. And I almost burst. <laughs> That's true. Okay, unicorn. Yeah, take it. Wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's crazy right now. Look how it's losing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Three channel rip. Okay. Three rip. I'm gonna give you your favorite one, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna throw Wand Wizard on 960 ball, which is probably gonna be one of the best combinations you can use. I mean, technically 360 is maybe better for the stamina, but let's see how this does. Three gentlemen rip. I just wanna see for the fun of it, what happens. What happened? Um, you're gonna have a small chance, and maybe we'll do a full session afterwards where we try to see if you, if I give you some combos, what, what can we do with it? So first round goes to Keel, losing. Never mind. Three gentlemen grip. Sorry, I don't know why I thought you won for a second. So yeah, second, yeah, yeah. This, this is the meta that I, I was thinking of right now. Look at this. Domination. Mm -hmm. Two points already. Three gentlemen grip. 
If you can't even KO me, oh. Listen, I'll let you use it once. I'll just show you for an example how a pro does it. Three gentle grips. Gentle grips. Oh, look at that. I still scored two points, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Those were your lucky two points never again. <laughs> never again, eh? Never again. Look at how you're outspinning me right now at the end. Don't pick up my bay until it's done. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, we know that you're going down. The gentle grip. I do win. Yeah, like, right. right now. You dream. <laughs> I dream big. Yeah. That's the problem. There you go. Oh, God. It's two to two. Yeah. See, this is what we got to do. This is why we got to show one wizard is crazy. Yeah. This is... Oh, my God. Okay. Pick it up. Uh, good luck. Not... Oh, I got it! Shit! Come on, hit it! Oh my god, what? job! Wow! That's... <laughs> I think we need the viewers to give us... Try to give us any competitive combination you think can deal with this bay. And we'll do a sequel video. We'll pick out random combos and try awesome. to beat it. Three, two, and go! Cool. Good job, that was a success in the first try. Okay, it's in the shot. Alrighty now, final thoughts. What do I think of Wand Wizard? Um, technically speaking, this is supposed to be coming out in January 2025, but uh, just decided to be on the store shelf super, super early. Uh, but yeah, this is a must have. This is very good stamina, very good defense. I see no reason for <laughs> you not to get this. It just, it, it, it beats all the current stamina stuff. Uh, you can't, it, it, it is killable, especially I would say arguably it's more balanced probably in the Hasbro steam than it is for TT. You can have that talk another time, but it, it's worth getting. It's worth getting. If you manage to find it or eventually in a couple months when it's technically the, the stores drop it for real, for real. But that's kind of it for this video. So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts. What did you think of this release? And as well, Molabase.com. If you want to get the Japanese Beyblade X releases, it is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any and all support regardless. And as well, our Amazon affiliate link. While we don't have Wave 3 on there, we do have Wave 2 of Hasbro's Beyblade X. So make sure to check out those links in the description below. And yeah, that's kind of it. This Wizard Bay is pretty strong. I thought he... I, 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 what videos do you want to see me do with this thing? You want to see me try to do like Wizard in the Hasbro Stadium to see what the meta is like, how different it is? That might actually, that might be fun. I don't know what else I could really do with this. If you want, anyone wants to give me fun video challenges or whatever, throw it to me. Don't throw don't throw something at me. Throw throw me the idea. Throw me the idea. Anyways, thank you for watching. That's gonna be it for now. Take care and bye.